Hey guys, so tonight we are heading on a quick flight over to Eau Claire to grab some dinner at one of our favorite restaurants. It's called Hangar 54, right? Yep. Hangar 54. So um, let's hop in the plane, go for a quick flight. How long is the flight? Uh, like 20 minutes. Pretty short flight tonight. And then grab some grub and we'll come back. Come on for the ride. Fuels on the fullest tank, pump is boost on, mixture full rich, flaps going 50, transponder squawking 1200, autopilot is checked, nav radios are set for takeoff, cabin heat defrost as required, brakes hold, we're going to run up to 1700 and we'll do our run up quick. That's pretty cool that the checklist is just like built all in there. Yeah. yeah. 1660, 1670, looking beautiful. Add some load. And everything looks amazing. And we'll go back to our checklist. Power lever is 1,000, flight instruments, HSI, altimeter are set, trim is set for takeoff, autopilot is off. Takeoff briefing, gonna be a normal takeoff, taking off 1-4, any issue on the runway, full brake, stop straight ahead, anything after takeoff below 600 AGL, land straight ahead, anything above 600 AGL, we will pull caps immediately, anything above 2000 AGL, we will get a few minutes troubleshoot, figure out what's going on. Turn this thing into a glider if we have to. All right. Just after we take off, we'll pull the flaps back up flat, and when we do that, you'll feel the plane sink a little bit, so your stomach might you know oh, what I mean? Okay. Like, yeah. just a little bit. It's not long. It goes really fast, but just to be prepared. Don't Got be it. alarmed. Yeah. Okay. That's normal. That's yep. normal. Good to know. <laughs> you feel it in a big plane after you know what it is. Yeah. But, um, okay. So here we go. We'll zoom out. Nobody within 10 miles of the field. Nobody on approach. Nobody in the pattern anywhere. So we are good to take runway 14. You got this. You're turn traffic. Sierra Sierra Bravo Zulu taking 14. Exiting the area to the east, New Richmond. All right. And Togo Bar's coming on. Clear left, clear right. All right, AC off. And here we go. Take off power's coming up. Airspeed is alive. Take off power's 50. set. 60, 70. And rotate. Looks good. Climbing out at 90. All right, we're above 90 knots. Clear obstacles. Flaps are coming up. Oh, I don't even know if I would have noticed that. <laughs> All right, flaps are up, and we'll start our climb. I just feel like if you're prepared for it, then you know it's coming. A lot of times yeah. people are like, whoa. <laughs> All right, 600 feet. Caps Absolutely. is available. That's going on. Flight level change, heading mode, and here we go. Go direct, Eau Claire, activate, and... Rich traffic, Sears here, Bravo Zulu, exit the air to the east, Richmond. It's 2,800. Want to talk to air traffic control, you just like switch channels. Yeah. yeah. November 44, four, Victor, thank you. Minneapolis approach, Sears 600, Bravo Zulu, 3 southeast, New Richmond, looking to pick up by far. Rear zero, Bravo Zulu, contact Minneapolis Center, 125.3, make your request with them, we'll see it. 
All right, 125.3, is there perhaps a look at it? For some Fox Red Delta, Roger. Sometimes you can pick up approach, but I think we're right on the edge of Minneapolis approach and Minneapolis center airspace here. So like sometimes they're yeah. willing to give you your clearance and sometimes you have to get your clearance from center. Pilot 3035, Minneapolis center, welcome. Minneapolis Center, sir, 600, Bravo Zulu, 4 Southeast in Richmond, looking for IFR. November 600, Bravo Zulu, Minneapolis Center, squawk 4220. 4220 for Zero Bravo Zulu. So basically they give us a transponder code and then we put that into our navigation and then that blinks on their screen so they can see who we are. Oh, okay. Like it identifies our plane. November 600, Bravo Zulu, have you radar contact approximately five miles east of New Richmond. You are cleared to the Eau Claire Airport via direct, maintain 5,000, say altitude leaving. All right, clear to Eau Claire direct and uh, climb maintain 5,000, leaving 4,000 for Zero Bravo Zulu. Zero Bravo Zulu, altitude check, thanks. Minneapolis Center, 76 Romeo here. Jumpers are away at Lake Wasoda. 76 Romeo, resident. Let's do that. Skydiving? No way. Oh, that's what they're doing? Yeah. yeah. HSC 335, 28, 4, 2, 4, 0. they hear our conversation or you push no, a button? No, you okay. have to push a button to transmit to them. Okay, I was like, oh my gosh, are they hearing? <laughs> when I said our and our last calling center is just offline, Sagan. And then they started talking. HSC 335, <laughs> we're 28, 3 for 2, 4, 0. No, you have to push the button down. HSC 335, center, welcome. Thank you. But if you hear them say zero Bravo Zulu, that means they're talking to us. So then you just want to be quiet for a minute. Yeah. Okay, 4,800 for 5,000. November 826, Charlie, do you have another waypoint I can input, yeah, input before your uh, destination? Uh, yeah, stand by. So this is like our cruising altitude? Yep. yep. So we're at 5,000 feet above the... Mean sea level. Sea level. Which oh, means okay. we're about 4,000 feet above the ground. Because up here, our, um, up, our normal like ground level is about 920 feet above sea level, right? Yep. So now you set it on like an autopilot kind of a thing? Yeah, so ever since... Yeah, we'll start with um, shortly after we took off, you put it on autopilot. So. Oh. The plane has been flying itself. Had a couple there. Mint State 37, I believe that was you checking in climbing to 4,000. They do a pretty good job of flying themselves. Yeah, really good. Mint State 37, so have your radar contact two miles southeast of Eau Claire, climbing yep. Thane 5,000. Climb Thane 5,000, 57. Yep. Can somebody else call? Delta 1595, clear direct bribe. So then this is usually the stage of flight where you put your seat back, recline, <laughs> <Yeah>. relax. <laughs> Take a nap. Take a nap. Center uh, 6 Romeo Charlie. Hey, six Romeo Charlie, go ahead. Yeah, as soon as we're clear of this uh, restricted area, we're going to go direct to uh, Kilo, Victor, Pampa, Zulu, and then direct to destination. Like, know what city you're in or not really? Yeah, we're hey, over Charlie, Woodville, thanks. Clayton, coming up oh. on NAP. So this right here is where Mom and Jerry live. Oh, okay. That's their lake. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We flew over them a couple times. We brought the kids over the there. Kids oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. We brought the kids over to... And then that's Kloom, that's Menominee. Oh, okay. Um, and then Eau Claire is... Minneapolis right Center, 76 Romeo here. Jumpers down and clear at Lake Wasoda. We could uh, Romeo, I think. accidentally type APF and end up down there if we wanted to. Oh, there's lots of storms down south. Yeah. Wow, a lot of lightning. Oh, there's three Tango 3. But it has X's at the end of it. Just be 335, descend at your discretion now, maintain 3,500. The lacrosse altimeter 3006, information Oscar. All right, discretion 3,500, 3006, I'll pick up Oscar for Jesse 335. November 600, Bravo Zoo, information Oscar is current at Eau Claire. Let me know when you have that. Descend at pilot's discretion for now, maintain 4,000. All right, we've got Oscar and pilot's discretion down to 4,000 for Zero Bravo Zulu. Alright, 4,000. Well, folks from the flight deck, we've begun our initial descent into Eau Claire. <laughs> Should have you on the ground in about eight minutes. The weather in Eau Claire today, pretty, pretty <laughs> similar to where we left in New Richmond. And I guess it's sunny, clear. United 2652, Minneapolis Center, welcome. 
That was a United flight checking on. Okay. They use their flight number instead of like a tail number. So like when you're on Delta flight 20, one, two, three, four, then that's their call sign on the radio. All right, Eau Claire Airport is 12 o'clock, two zero miles. And... Uh, what river is this that we're crossing over? That I don't know. A lake I missed call sign thing again. No, I... Oh yeah, well, no, it doesn't go. Well, no. it's a little plane. Just being 335, I'll check with tower and get back to you. Oh yeah, it is a lake. You see the little plane out the left side coming behind the plane? Okay, so we are coming up on Eau Claire. We've got the RNAV-04 loaded for backup guidance, and JSAC is the final approach fix, which we want to be at at 2,700 feet. Pull back a little more power here to lose a little more airspeed. We'll run. November 0, Bravo Zulu, descending here to scratch, maintain 3,000, report the field in sight. All right, pilot scratch down 3,000, got the field in sight for Zero Bravo Zulu. Zero Bravo Zulu, Roger, I'll have your clearance here shortly. All right, Zero Bravo Zulu. All right, let's run our landing checklist. Good evening, number 262 Tango Alpha. Seatbelts are secure, fuel pump is going boost, mixture, full rich, flaps as required, autopilot as required, no icing conditions. All right, 262 Tango Alpha, Minneapolis Center, thanks, lacrosse altimeter 3006. All right, normal landing, full flaps, 85, power as required. Landing light is on. So November zero, Bravo Zulu, turn right, heading 140. I've got a departure coming off runway four. I'll have your clearance uh, as soon as they're departed. All right, right to 140. We'll stand by for zero, Bravo Zulu. Air six zero zero, Bravo Zulu. Do you still have the field in sight? Yep, still in sight for zero, Bravo Zulu. Right. Zero, Bravo Zulu, clear visual approach runway four, Eau Claire Airport, radar service terminal, contact tower on one one eight point five seven. All right, clear for the visual runway four, over to tower for zero, Bravo Zulu. Have a great day. Good day. Eau Claire Tower, good afternoon, Sierra 600 Bravo Zulu on the visual runway 4. Sierra 600 Bravo Zulu, Eau Claire Tower, confirm you have ADIS Oscar. Got Oscar for Zero Bravo Zulu. Sierra 600 Bravo Zulu, report 5 miles west of the airport, left traffic, runway 4. I will report 5 miles, left traffic, runway 4, Zero Bravo Zulu. Alright, we're going to pull some power back here, we'll get our airspeed below 110, get second notch flaps in before we hit the center line and then turn in. We are below 110. Second notch flaps coming in. He said report 5 miles, 0.4 miles. Oak Clark Tower, Sir Sir Bravo Zulu, turning on to the extended center line at 5 miles. Sir Zulu, Sir Zero Bravo Zulu, runway 4, clear to land, wind 020FF. Zero, zero, Alright, runway 4, clear to land, Sir Bravo Zulu, thanks. Alright, 100 knots. Start slowing to 95. Wide slopes looking good. Altitude. All right, we crossed Yargu at about 1740. Pull back to 95. 95 captured. 500. A little tiny bit of a displaced threshold here, but not much. 500 feet to the ground. Tiny bit of a left crosswind coming in. All right, start slowing to 90. Over the fence at 90. All right. Nice job. There you go. Welcome to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. <laughs> that was like just a little like hip scab, hip hop. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Hop, skip, and a jump. Hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> Thank you. My brain wasn't processing that right. Zero, zero, Bravo Zulu, what's your destination? Uh, going over to the restaurant for Zero Bravo Zulu. Zero, Bravo Zulu, turn right when able. Can you make Alpha 3? No, it looks like you went past it. Yeah, we're uh, just coming up on Alpha 2 for Zero Bravo Zulu. We can turn there if that works for you. Yeah, Zero Bravo Zulu, turn right at Alpha 2 and then turn right at Alpha. Remain this frequency. Alright, right Alpha 2, right Alpha. Remain this frequency, Zero Bravo Zulu. Alright, turn off here. And we don't need any more drag. Flaps are coming up. Landing lights coming off. Run our after landing checklist real quick. 
Zero zero Bravo Zulu, continue ahead on Alpha, turn left at Bravo 2 for the uh, restaurant. Alright, uh, continue ahead on Alpha, left at Bravo 2, Zero Bravo Zulu. Zero Bravo Zulu, do you know where to park at? <laughs> yeah, we were just looking here. Are we? Is it okay if we park like just between those two Mankato planes right there? Yes, uh, I'd suggest that actually. Yeah, that's a good place. Okay, perfect. Thank you for Zero Bravo The right break. Alright, should we go eat? Let's go eat. Let's do it. Right yeah, I think so. Which is kind of nice, you don't have to worry about it. Let's go. In gate seat? Yep. This restaurant's pretty cool. It's like right in there, so you would have a view of the airport. Oh, yeah. The planes taking us somewhere. That's pretty cool. Like the dairies, like it's so much, but it has cheese or milk. What are you getting? I don't know. I thought the shrimp taco sounded good. Yeah. No. All right, so we'll come off the ramp here at Bravo 1, and then we will hang a right Charlie and then a left Alpha. How about that? Sounds good. All right, go left here. Oakland traffic, Sir Sir Bravo Zulu, cross runway 32 on the ground, declare. Clear left, clear right. All right, flight plan, we'll load Kilo Romeo November Hotel. Nope, oh, wrong one. You want to do it? All right, from taxiway Alpha 4, if we take off here, we only have 7,701 feet. You think that'll be okay? Yeah, or? I think that'll be enough okay. to go about. I think you think that'll scare your sister if we do that? or <clears throat> Do what? Take off on only 7,700 feet of runway? No, I don't think so. Okay. All right, 1640. 50, looks beautiful. Add a little bit of load. Coming up perfect, and we are good. Or put it on the fullest tank. Pull it back. We'll switch tanks just for you. Thanks. All right, go to our checklist. All right, parking brake is off. Brakes are checked, HSI is checked, attitude gyro is checked, turn coordinator is checked, doors latched, time latched, gear latched, caps pin is removed. Air conditioner as desired, fuel quantity is good, fullest tank, boost, full rich, flaps 50, transponder squawk at 1200, autopilot's checked, nav radios are set for takeoff, cabin heat defrost as required, we did our run up, we're good there, engine parameters are checked, power levers, 1000, flight instruments checked and set, flight controls, I'm up, you're down, Yep. I'm down, you're up, Yeah. elevator back, yep. elevator forward, Takeoff trim is set and autopilot is disconnected. Going to be a normal takeoff today, taking off runway four. Got 7,700 feet of runway, so no problems there. We could take off and land a couple times on this runway if we wanted to. Um, so anything below, any problems on the runway will stop straight ahead. Anything below 600 feet, we will land straight ahead. Anything above 600 feet, less than 2,500 feet, 
Pull caps, or I mean, we will uh, pull caps right away. Anything over 2,500 feet, we'll take a little bit of troubleshoot and see what's going on. And here we go. All right, checklists are complete, and we are good to go. You ready back there? Yep. Oak Claire traffic, Sirius here, Bravo Zulu, taking runway four, going to be exiting the area to the west. Oak Claire. Togo bars coming on. Bug to our altitude, 4,000. Clear left, clear right, and no traffic. Quiet night. Here we go. 50. All right, take off power set. Engine looks 60. good. 70. And she's Rotate. ready to fly. Minneapolis Center, Sir 600 Bravo Zulu, three to the west of Eau Claire, looking to pick up IVAR. Sir 600 Bravo Zulu, Minneapolis Center, Fox 4523, say your altitude. 4523, leave in 3300 for 4000 for Zero Bravo Zulu. November 600 Bravo Zulu, radar contact, about five miles northwest of the Eau Claire airport, that altitude check, clear to New Richmond via direct, maintain 4000, Eau Claire altimeter 3009. All right, 3009, clear direct to Richmond, climb maintain 4000 for Zero Bravo Zulu, thanks. Minneapolis Center, 76 Romeo here, jumpers are away at Lake Wasoda. Number 600 Bravo Zulu, when able to advise that current automated weather at New Richmond and Waterford, you're looking for. Got the weather and looking for the visual, the 1 4 for Zero Bravo Zulu. Thank you. 22975. And Minneapolis Center, Sir Sir Bravo Zulu, we got the field inside, we can go and cancel IFR. November 600, Bravo Zulu, Roger, IFR can place the Israel Seas, Squawk VFR, can to advisor, if you can approve, have a good night. Alright, Squawk and VFR over to advisory, have a great night, Sir Bravo Zulu. New Richmond traffic, Sir Sir Bravo Zulu, 20 to the southwest, coming up for the straight end to 3 2 New Richmond. And then from here, we'll make a right turn to Hank Boo. And we're below on 10, second notch flaps is going in. And we'll take over and fly. The poor plane is already all full of bugs all over again. Mm -hmm. That time of year. It's kind of amazing when you think about it that you can get lined up with that tiny little piece of pavement and hit it every time. Yeah. I never do well when I'm doing video games and you have to like fly something and then land it. <laughs> the cool thing about... I overcompensate tricky. and then I'm like side to side. The cool thing about modern avionics, though, is see that little green circle with the target right there? Yeah. If I put that right on the numbers on the runway, that's basically exactly where I need to fly to land it where I want to. Got it. So it, a little bit, it is kind of like a video game. And when you're in, when you're in IMC or instrument meteorological conditions, so it's like clouds, you can't even, you can't, it's just like everything is white. You can't even see the end of the wings sometimes. Got about an eight knot crosswind here, blowing us off center, so we're crabbed in just a little bit. New Richmond traffic, Sir Sir Bravo Zulu is on final for three two New Richmond. Five hundred. Five hundred to go. New Richmond traffic, Sir Sir Bravo Zulu, short final for three two New Richmond. Butterfly with sore feet. Oh. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to land an airplane, they say. A butterfly with sore feet? Yeah, yeah, put it down like a butterfly with sore feet. Huh, never heard that before. Like the butterfly doesn't want to land hard, do you get it? All right. We had to use a little bit of brakes, which is unfortunate, but... No big deal. We landed a little bit long. Flaps are coming up. New Richmond traffic, zero, zero, Bravo Zulu down and clear, three, two, New Richmond. Beth loves, for some reason, blue taxiway lights at night at airports. I think they're cool. They're like, relax. I don't know why. <laughs> Even m cooler when it's like dark. It's not really dark. Yeah. 
Did you see our fire truck video? Uh, yeah. That's our friendly neighborhood fire truck there. That uh, I smoked Beth in the competition. Your butt, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have won. There's I been some won. discussion about whether Beth was started unfairly further behind than she should have. Right. Um, I'm going to argue that, of course. And you got to see her do it to learn exactly like, where you should aim and how you should go about it. True. I feel like given that you had the natural advantage, you should have gone first. That's true. And you maybe still want to beat her. I mean, possibly. Possibly. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe. All right. Here we go. Stack the hangar means like put all these planes away. Yeah. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. Been a pleasure. <laughs>